Hello, Tactical Cowboy here. Coming up, we're going to hit the range with the Palmetto State Armory AKV. Thanks for watching. Tat Cowboy here. Uh, today I have the PSA or Palmetto State Armory AKV. Uh, just going to do a quick range session for y'all. I got four mags here loaded up. Uh, got it here a little bit later than I wanted to. Not sure if I'll have enough daylight to uh, load some more mags and, and run them for y'all, but uh, nonetheless, I've been running it out here at my private range. And uh, so far, so great. Now, this is a, a a pistol that I've been wanting for a long time since it was introduced a few years ago. And uh, now I got my hands on one. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna shut up and start running it because for one, I'm running out of daylight. And two, uh, a little bit windy out here, so I don't know how well my filter's cutting out the wind noise. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, this is a combination of it's all still 115 grain, but uh, half of it is Wolf, the other half is Tula. So uh, I'll start with the color matched OD Green magazine. So if you notice there, if you don't have a uh, tight, firm grip on it, it is very easy to unintentionally bump fire, which could be a bad thing if you're wanting to take precise shots or if you're, uh, you're at a range that doesn't allow bump fire or you know, automatic fire. So uh, if you get one of these, uh, warning, be careful on who you let shoot it. So uh, yeah, let's keep going. <clears throat> And just try to bump fire it. Empty.
had one uh, target off in the back. Why not? One great thing about a bufferless system such as the AK platform is you can fire it in the folded position. Mm. So that was a uh, all four magazines loaded to 35 rounds, uh, shot reliably. Uh, a lot of unintentional bump fire. Uh, it was actually, I guess you could say I don't have enough trigger time with this one because uh, the only time I've unintentionally bump fired it before during a range session was just whenever I was trying to set my optic in. So I was uh, on the rest. Try and take precise shots, and uh, when you're accidentally bump firing it, then uh, precise uh, is important. And again, when you're bump firing it, then you know that's not good. Uh, but anytime I did had a range session, I guess I uh, focused more on not bump firing it and uh, weapon the clears in a, in a safe direction. But basically hold the trigger back until I got on my next target. Uh, but today, unfortunately, I'm just in a rush. Uh, daylight is running out here. And so, uh, you know, I just spent on, on, on and off the trigger uh, real fast. And unfortunately that led to bump firing. So uh, I'm gonna get it back to the house and uh, we'll discuss this more. So I'll do that on another video. I'll have it linked above and also in the description down below. So look in both those places if you don't see it in one. But uh, I appreciate you watching. And until next time, Tat Cowboy out. So on second thought, I got a thing, and I can load two magazines pretty quick. Uh, I think this was 35 and 30 rounds, so uh, 65 rounds, you know. Knock that out real quick, and I can definitely shoot it real quick. So let's go ahead and shoot all 200 rounds, uh, steel case ammo, and see how it does. So as you heard or saw, if I shoot it like how I just demonstrated, then uh, you don't have to worry about bump firing it, but once uh, you get in a hurry, things can fall apart real quick.
I even aiming anymore? Okay, so how it was supposed to be, I shot all 200 rounds of steel case. Uh, some was Tula and some was Wolf, like I said. Uh, yeah, it ran flawlessly. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is a Swamp Fox Liberty off of a handgun I borrowed for to throw on here to, to try it out. Uh, I like this setup. Uh, if you are interested in getting an optic setup, then you know this is one option that I do recommend. Uh, this is the only thing I have uh, tried though. Uh, you know, you might find something you like better. Uh, I'll take this to the house though, like I said before, and I'll uh, actually go over this from end to end. So yeah, again, I appreciate you watching, and until next time, Tat Cowboy out. <laughs> Thank you.